This fishing boat has just returned from three days at sea. The prize catch is a shark. Fishermen in this western region of Ghana say they sell the meat locally and they cut off the fins to sell to agents who export them. Shark fin soup is a Chinese delicacy. These shark fins have a thread-like substance like spaghetti, so when white people cook and eat it, they say it gives them strength and long life. Other fish doesn't have that, which is why shark is more expensive than the other types of fish. Yao says depending on the season, he can catch up to 50 sharks in one month, and that he can get up to $50 a kilo for the fins. That's just a fraction of what they sell for internationally. In addition to the shark, the fishermen sometimes catch dolphin, which they use as bait for the shark. Conservationists say they're both supposed to be protected because they're migratory species. Like the top, the dorsal fin. According to this leading Ghanaian marine biologist, the killing of sharks and dolphins is on the increase. These are fresh shark fins. But he says conservation is not a government priority. There's, there's no doubt that we know it's illegal, but because of the need for food, so it's overlooked. In fact, the dolphins are even being used as food now directly. They are being, the meat is being smoked and consumed, which is definitely not right. So because of food security, it's making it difficult to enforce these rules. Ghana's Fisheries Commission denies that dolphins are being caught. As for sharks, the commission says the fishermen are complying with conventions because they're making use of the whole shark rather than just cutting off the fins and discarding the body at sea and that it's just a small percentage of fishermen involved in these activities. It's not commercial. You know, we are talking about the artisanal fishing fleet. They are sustenance f uh, fishermen, and it's a lovely good issue. If uh, shark finning, you know, is, is the trade that is giving money, I mean, people, people, we should just, I mean, those countries that are buying should stop. Fish stocks are declining, and fishermen say they're doing what they can to survive. Conservationists fear that in the end, it's not just fish, but also humans that will suffer the consequences. Amabwateng, Al Jazeera, Dixcove, in the western region of Ghana.